Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Ventura Cigar Company studio. With me today is John McTavish. How you doing, John? Doing well, doing well. Glad to be doing reviews again, recaps, and I'm excited to talk about this cigar today for sure. Yeah. So today we are talking about the Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio CT Toro. So our six inch by 50 ring gauge comes out of the Hoya de Nicaragua factory in Nicaragua. Uh, wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut, binder and filler both from Nicaragua. Uh, price point is $9.70, and the cigar was released in July of 2019. So with all that out of the way, John, what was your overall experience with the cigar like? So this was a cigar I was looking forward to. I'm a big fan of a lot of Hoya stuff. They knocked out of the park in uh, 2018, of course, with multiple releases, the Silver and the uh, Cinco de Cotas. So with follow-up with a Shade, I mean, that's a, that's a bold left-hand turn. And they kind of already have a Shade-ish kind of blend on the, on the market with the Red, which... Um, I think for me, the red wasn't my favorite release that Hoy has done. So I was, I was very trepidatious lighting this puppy up. Cause I was like, man, like if I, if I have another Hoy cigar that I'm not really big on, I feel like I'm going to be uninvited from the Hoya parties. <laughs> but fortunately uh, this is a, this is a good cigar. This was a consistently good cigar from start to finish. And I'd say that for the Connecticut lovers out there, to me, this kind of, because you know you talk about grandfather's connecticut or new wave connecticut i think this kept it perfectly within that realm of what a connecticut like a shade blend is with added complexity that still kept the body and strength under that medium mark um i mean it had a lot of stuff going on here i mean i have like 15 different tasting notes from um, like graham cracker, a little bit of bready notes, slight pepper, a nice little bit of dark and milk chocolate, um, powdered cocoa, um, again, sort of bready candy sweetness in the, in the second third, a little bit of toasted barbecue in the last third. And, and there was something that kind of kept my attention throughout. And again, you know, for me, really important, if you're going to blend kind of a traditional style Connecticut, there's a lot of Connecticut's out there and there's a lot to choose from. So you need to have something else that catches your attention. And to me, this did it. It, it was like, I would, I would smoke these on the regular for sure. Uh, and of course, Hoya, I think really for me is a no brainer for construction. So the burn was flawless. Uh, there was like maybe a slight canoe in the last third, which instantly corrected. Uh, draw was maybe a half notch resistant, like perfectly within the realm of uh, what I consider to be ideal. So yeah, this was, um, this was a very pleasant cigar to be reviewing after the show. I think this is probably one of the best cigars I've reviewed so far out of the show. What was your overall experience like? Uh, for me, the cigar started out with oak, dry earth, and some floral perfume. Um, as it progressed, the perfume kind of left, but the floral note remained. Um, the oak also gained a little bit of toastiness to it. Um, final third had some sour and bitter notes for a short time. Um, construction was great. Um, needed no attention whatsoever. Um, I think the, uh, the cigar was pretty good. Uh, didn't really show much in the way of traditional Connecticut notes uh, you know, on the negative side of things. You know, kind of like the hay or the pervasive bitterness and stuff like that. Um, strength also wasn't overpowering. Um, it doesn't seem to hit me in the Antonio line, it, you know, like it does some other people. So, I mean, it, it, what, what were your thoughts on the strength level? Yeah, I mean, that was that was very impressive because, again, Hoy, Hoy, I think, is typically known for being medium kind of at the lower level. Right. And to me, I like you, I would say at the highest mark, it was medium minus. There was no strong right. pepper. Uh, I did get a little bit of dry, dry cedar and dry hay in the second third, but like you said, none of that kind of negative, harsh Connecticut quality, right. which can be unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's a really nice addition to the uh, Antonio line. Um, I'd have no problem going back to this cigar. Um, you know, if you're a Connecticut shade fan, this is a cigar you have to try. Um, you know, so, or if you just like a smooth profile with kind of a mid-level strength, um, I think this is another, another way to go to, at this cigar. So it was a very good cigar. Um, so getting to the scores, uh, June and Seth were also on this review. They just weren't able to join us for the video. Uh, so John, you and June uh, tied at 7.17 for the top rating. Um, I was right behind you guys at 6.72 and then Seth gave it a 5.85. So how that 7.17 match up with your experience? Yeah, that is, that is a no brainer. Um, I mean, for me, this is a absolute lock for top 25 list. Uh, like I said, I think if I go look at my scoring from the show so far, uh, and obviously we're kind of midway through the year for cigar reviews, but so far this is probably the best cigar I reviewed out of the show. Um, and like I said, I was really trepidatious going in. So I was, you know, I, I like it when it's an easy review. It's just a good cigar. 
no brainer. And uh, yeah, I mean, these are on my buying note because um, if I'm looking for something light, but uh, I really want, you know, body, uh, this is it. This is, this is the, uh, this is like, what, what was the price point of these bad boys? 970. Yeah. See, that's, that's totally reasonable for a Connecticut like this. Yep. What about you? Yeah. 6.72 matched up well. I mean, it was good through the first two thirds and average in the final third, really good construction. Um, it was just really good cigar. Uh, and like you said, the, you know, talking about the price, it fits. I mean, it's not, it, I mean, I, you don't, you don't think it's, it's not, it's not definitely not too high. Um, it's, you know, not too low. It's kind of, it's, a, it's right in a good spot. I mean, um, you know, I guess, you know, you could argue like a, maybe eight bucks or something like that. No, it's, it's fine at, at that price point. And, you know, it's something that I think you can smoke pretty much any time of the day. I don't think it's just like a, a kind of a morning type of cigar. I think you could still smoke in the afternoon, the evening and, you know, feel satisfied smoking it there. So totally agree. Yeah. All right. If you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. Also check out the full written review on the website, developmentthoughts.com. Follow us on all the social media sites. And uh, if you're catching us on podcasts to iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean, thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Antonio.